My name is Firoz. Firoz, and I will be your driver guide for these two days up to the border tomorrow. All right. This morning we are driving 160 kilometers to Mbutuni Lodge, but from here 100 kilometers we are going to stop for PP, stretching our legs, and then continue to our lodge. When we reach at the lodge, I'll tell you the program for the afternoon. They're going to rest for about five to six days now. Are they? Yes, but they don't hunt every day. The red house, there's a lot of big pride here. You see the bushes, I think. It's very dangerous here also. The lions get a tough time to drag it down. The difference between a male and female. The males have got two horns with a third horn on the forehead. Mm -hmm. It's like a horn, a small one. There's the female at the back here. Yeah. You can go to that park in Mombasa and feed them, can't you? Yes, but I'm here. Hello. That one's why that's just a cow, isn't it? I don't know. It, looked, it, looked, it looks bigger than that. Mind you, no, we're still the bison here. You do know why we stopped, don't you? Toilet. No. You haven't got a punch on? Yes. No. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs>
But we are told that if we would like to fill it with our favourite drinks, then we just need to let the staff know that they give us water, so that's okay. Coming through into the bedroom area, which is big and nice, and has attractive prints where somebody appears to be drinking something from a bowl through a straw that looks like grain. I don't know. Flowers. Which are real, despite the fact that I thought they were paper. They're real. And uh, this is the view. Nobody cares about the bathroom. This is the view. Which is a much more important part. Oh. The outside of the crater, at sunset. Complete with rocking chairs, as you say. We can sit here and pretend to be old. Perhaps read a book and smoke a pipe. The flat cap. Ah, I will need to meet me to me. I don't know that is a slender moment. What am I getting you? Old. Yeah, it's old. Which is very old, that's fine. Yeah.
Gazelle. Oh, member of Pride hiding somewhere. They are close. You never know. Some of the guys are more good on that. Horizon. I finally got this one. You change your tune if a kite comes down and takes your hand off. Or it takes the bird. It's quite sick. There are hippos in the lake where we've had lunch, but they're very shy and they won't come near. Except Rob got some good photos, he says. Mine are all from a distance, so uh, that's all. I miss them every time. <laughs> they look good, but I can get the camera ready. They look really good when I'm nice.
Yeah. 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 I ran, didn't I? So you get near Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We went to the park once, maybe there's a tank. I didn't like it, right? Oh, maybe. Hey, Dave. Don't that way. It doesn't really matter where you are, does it? Just aim down the road somewhere. <laughs> Nasty cut up her side. Oh, I got that. Mais ça m'a dit un Ugly.
Okay, so this is a kindergarten and this is a third and a half, three years of seven. Because after eight, you go to primary school in Gorongoro. No matter for a long time not want to go to learn, but now you have the four children and you two go to keep the cattle and you two go to learn. Swahili and English. Because all here speaking language. So this is a teacher. This is a teacher come to teach the children come to write in reading mathematics. This is a donation and this donation you make go to buy the blackboard, you go to buy the class to Ngorongoro. But because the class of here not nice. Mm -hmm. Three months go to bring again. But the class of the Ngorongoro, two years, three years, go to bring again. So and maybe go to make go to buy the medicine because here I don't have a hospital and the hospital go to buy medicine to Ngorongoro. Mm -hmm. You take photo, you have the question. No, this. Migrating um, wildebeest, well, going on for miles and miles and miles, massive groups. Uh, Shortly followed by the lions, just casually lying a couple of meters away from the side of the road. Uh, and now we're here, just checking in, getting beer, and just going to find the lodge to have lunch.
Who's your bucket? George, just a there too. Yeah, dear, that's me. Papa. Yeah, I didn't see this. I couldn't see it. His mum left him there and told him to sit still. Don't you move. Isn't it dark? Oh, no, I don't know. Babies that you have to take them. You see them, George? Mm-hmm. They're not just mm -hmm. Thanks. 
That one is cool oh, yeah. the tree yeah. park. There are three yams on the map. Yeah. Are they all hers? Mm. Oh, no, don't need to yeah, keep them between her, won't they? She'll protect her. No one's trying to clean her. Oh, yeah. Looks can be the same, right? Yeah. Mm. I'm sure I'll have to know. Oh, no, they're going to come out of there. They're out there, did you see it? Yeah. You only admire them, though, wouldn't you? There's another tiny, tiny one over there. Where? Over there. I don't know what it is. How much? How much do the babies weigh when they are born? Uh, from 125 kilograms to 100. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know, but uh, it's not a burst tyre. Luckily, it could just be something heavily mechanical, and we could be here for a week. <laughs> A small five. A small five, they are given name after big five. Huh? So this is one of small five. We call it hand lion. So they dig the hole and they stay inside. And when they are inside, they open the mouth. When another insect go inside the hole, they attack. So the footprint of Impala is, looks like a arrow showing direction. Huh? So it's meaning going that way, and this one is going that way. In between two peaks, they have a distance of three kilometers. You know how high the height of Kilimanjaro? Mm -hmm. The highest peak is five thousand. 